Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now one of the most frequently asked questions I get on this channel or on Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook is do I need to go to school for acting or get a degree in theater to become an actor? And I've been getting this question a lot more recently and I feel like my answer kind of depends on the person and I feel like what their situation is or what specifically they're asking. But I feel like my bottom line answer has always been the same. No, you do not. Which may also seem a little bit hypocritical because I currently am a theater major at a community college and I'm kind of sort of working to get a degree at least an AA in theater so like girl what's your deal why why are you saying no from what I've experienced and what I've noticed in auditions or just you know trying out for different roles different places I mean it's really cool to have on your resume that you have like a BA in performance or acting or something specific in entertaining at some really dope university but really what casting directors want to see or producers or like anyone on an audition board what they want to see is you they want to know who you are what you are able to do and what you can do for their show i mean i'm not professional or anything i just kind of do a lot of like community theater shows and i just kind of you know do whatever i can however I can, but I'm also not discounting training. I'm, that's never what I wanna say is like, no, you didn't need to go to school for that. It's just kind of, you know, you go out there, you do your thing, you know, be successful. Which is great because I think one of my favorite like success stories, if you wanna call it a success story, in the industry who's actually doing pretty well right now is Emma Stone. I don't know how much you guys know about her story. I don't know too much about her story, but from what I have seen in like interviews, she at 14 gave a PowerPoint presentation to her parents of why she should move to LA and be an actor. She did that, she convinced her parents, and she just recently won an Oscar. I'm pretty sure she's doing okay, but I don't think she just kind of moved out at 14 and like made it. I'm pretty sure she went through a lot of training. She studied very hard and she worked very hard at her craft and that's how she got to where she is now. And that's how anyone gets anywhere when it comes to like the entertainment industry or the business if you want to call it the business. The show business. And I just learned about this yesterday too in my tap class ironically but my professor said a lot of it is your mindset and that's something that no amount of training can give you. That's just something that you have to develop on your own. I mean, please get training. Please like go to classes, whether it be in like school or you just take classes like outside of school because there are acting classes outside of school. Believe me, they're out there. You just need to find them. Or if you want to be a dancer or a singer or, you know, an actor or stunt choreography and things like that, go take classes, get training, make connections with people, be inspired by people who are in your classes, challenge yourself in those classes. And there's nothing wrong with improvement and growth at all whatsoever. In fact, it's highly encouraged if you do that. Yes, get training, improve your skills, but keep your mind in check. The one thing that people cannot shake from you is the identity of who you are. They can say things about you and they can like try to like misguide you but if you know in your heart of hearts who you are what you can do and what you can do for their show that is all well that's not all you need but it's like a foundation of what you need trust me people will try to sway you as well so just gotta have the right mindset and have the mindset of like winning and like getting it you know what i mean you can't go into an audition like without confidence because that's one of the key points to an audition have confidence in who you are and collaboration Will go pretty well but not everyone can get like specific training not everyone can afford singing lessons all the time not everyone can afford going to like different dance classes because it's cool to have a wide variety of knowledge like you can be cool at hip-hop ballet jazz tap afro modern and life is expensive if you want to try to do all those things at the same time so you could build your resume and like be really good at everything. So what I like to suggest to people is try to find a community theater or if you're going to school, if your school is doing some plays or musicals or whatever it is you want to do, join that. It's most likely going to be free. If not somewhat affordable, you know, not everything is free, but some good things are like free food. But try to get in as much training and as much experience as you can because not everyone just kind of goes to the first audition and gets the lead all the time. Sorry. Honestly, I did not start out that way. I have been doing 
theater <laughs> since I was four. I think I've talked about that in previous videos, but I've been just trying to do theater wherever I can. Again, I'm not professional, so here I am. Speaking of here I am, I don't know if I've ever said this on my channel, but the reason why I started this YouTube channel is because at one point I figured I would love to get into film acting. Well, I've always wanted to get into film acting, but I've always just done theater. So my logic is I should just set up my own camera and talk to it and put it up on YouTube. I just hit my closet door. I'm so sorry, closet door. And I just figured, well, I should just start talking to a camera and maybe that'll help me get used to being on camera just so when I actually do have to work on camera, I'm not just like, oh my gosh, there's a camera watching me. Oh my gosh. Which I feel like has helped. Uh, a lot when it comes to me auditioning for things that are on film or me helping out my friends who are in cinematography classes who want me to be in their like projects and stuff. So all that being said, going to school and having a degree is cool, it's really fun. You get to collaborate with other students, you get to get connections with your professors because they probably know like a lot of people in the industry as well. But it is not necessary, it is not essential when you go into an audition, it is not a huge part of your career necessarily, but it is good to have a lot of training. It is good to have those connections. It is good to build your character as well. And building a good reputation and having that go around can go a long way as well, trust me. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions or you have any input about going to school for theater or acting or anything like that, anything that I missed or anything that you want to add, or any questions about it, I think I already asked that, um, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and you can tweet me or Instagram me or Facebook me or whatever if you want to connect with me more. I would love to connect with you about it if you have specific questions about anything. Also, if you have any other video ideas for me that you want to hear me talk about, if you want to hear me talk about more stuff, leave that in the comment section below as well. And what else? Oh, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos from me every Wednesday and Saturday. And that's all. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!